Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. 2 Samuel chapter 7 got me to thinking. It's really cool. As I'm like, I'm not sure like what verses to read, so I'm, you just, I'm, if a verse comes to mind, I'll say it. In summary, David thinks to himself, you know, I have a house. God has a tent. That's kind of dumb. I want God to have a house too. So Nathan, his prophet, the court prophet said, Go and do what's in. I'll read verse 3. And Nathan said to the king, Go do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. And the Lord proceeds to say, No, Nathan, you tell him that I've never commanded anyone to put, build me a house of cedar. Um, I've dwelt in a tent the entire time I've been with Israel. I don't, you know, I've never asked anyone to do this for me. And it won't be you, but your son who builds a temple for me and your house will be established forever. A messianic promise. I'll read that. I'm going to read verses 10 and 11. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, that they may dwell in a place of their own, and move no more. Nor shall the sons of wickedness oppress them any more as previously, since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, and have caused you to rest from all your enemies. Also, the Lord tells you that he will make you a house. Now, I already obviously had a house. So the reference there is probably to like, like a royal dynasty, a royal household, something along those lines. It wouldn't make much. I, that's what makes the most sense to me. I can't think of it. He, since he just said, I live in a house, God lives in a tent, it doesn't make any sense for that to mean simply like another house, a bigger, better house. And then he goes on to make the messianic promise. Verse 16, And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. So King David being told he will have an everlasting dynasty. And King David is probably the most famous of all of Jesus' lineage. Out of all the descendants that Jesus came from, Abraham and David are the two most popular and the most well-known. And David just goes on for a, quite a while just thanking God for all the good that he's done, saving him from his enemies and giving him a home, giving him a land, giving him peace on every side. And it just really got me to thinking about how incredibly thankful I am for what I have. Like, I have, I have the internet. How awesome is that? I have video games. It's amazing. I have food whenever I want to eat it. I have a house over my head that has running clean water. That's pretty amazing and not to be taken for granted. I have two hands and ten fingers that move and work and play games good. I have friends that love me and care about me. Not rich, but you know, again, I'm 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 eating and I'm not eating um I'm not eating based on you know, food stamps or anything at the moment. Um, I do shop a little bit cheap, but I'm not fully reliant or dependent on the government or a friend or family. I can provide for myself at least to some degree. I am blessed, y'all. Oh yeah, and I own my car. That's, I think, according to some really, really, really old statistic, this may not even be true anymore, but like if you own your vehicle, like you have the title to your vehicle, that puts you in the top 10 wealthiest people of the entire planet. So, I mean, hey, look at me! And that's a, that doesn't sound like, you know, a lot, especially when you compare me to like the big name YouTubers, the people who are rich. I, I don't need to mention any names. Um, you guys know who I love and you guys know who you love and we know who's made it big and who's successful but guys I feel awfully successful. I don't even have 100 subscribers yet. I don't even have 50. But I have you guys who watch my videos a lot. I usually have a few views per video. Friends in my, in my like personal space that I can see in person. Friends online that I've never met but that I can talk to anyway. I am this chapter just inspired me to know how amazingly blessed I am. Oh yeah, and a physical body that's not in the best of shape, but certainly not in horrible shape. Again, I can move and I can do a little dance and do a little jig. And Okay, I'll stop that right now. <laughs> I'm just so incredibly thankful. I'm not, I may not be in the lineage of Jesus Christ, but my 
God, I am blessed. And I'll bet you guys, even those of you who are in some hard circumstances right now, where life isn't the best, I'll bet you can look up and you can see some of the good things in your life. For the biggest example, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, regardless of how bad it gets down here, regardless of what how good it is for me down here or how bad it may get for me at some point in the future because who knows what the future holds, I have eternal life in Jesus Christ. I will be in heaven with Jesus forever. And he loves me from the bottom of his heart and he always will. I'm blessed. And you are too. And even if you're not a Christian, God still loves you whether you believe him or not. He still cares for you whether you believe in him or not. So you're blessed whether you know it or not. And so, yeah, just a, a heart of thanksgiving just kind of burst out from me. I'm just like, my God, I'm blessed. And I'm thankful. And it's really awesome what the Lord's done in me. And I can't wait to see what he does with the future of this channel and whatever interactions I get to have with you guys. And as the freaks grow and the interactions grow and I tackle more stuff, and I've rambled on quite long enough. I wonder if I'm ever going to get back to the three and four minute videos again. I swear I'm not trying to push YouTube's limits to for more view time. I'm really not trying to do that. I just, I want to speak and I want to tell you guys what's on my heart. And I just, I'm rambling and it just kind of happens like that. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.